Okay, brand loyalty. And we're talking about VidMe or YouTube. Or something else. Or something else. If something else comes along. Yeah. So is it better, I guess uh, to start this topic, this is something I've been wondering personally, is am I better to have two audiences on two different platforms or am I better to combine them onto one platform? That way they can communicate to each other and it makes it more engaging perhaps. What are, you, what are your thoughts on this, Jamie? Well, for some people it's gonna be money. Some people are gonna be driven by money, you know. I can only monetize on YouTube and I can't monetize on VidMe. That's gonna be what their driving factor is. You know, other people are gonna be more about, well, where is my free speech available? You know, where can I express myself without fears of a, a policy change in the future that's gonna affect me? And that's gonna be the deciding factor. So basically from that, Jamie, you're saying it depends on what your perspective is, what your outlook is for the future of your channel, which platform's better for you? Yeah, and I mean, that is so hard to predict at this stage, but I mean, what we're seeing at this stage is, you know, on VidMe, you're seeing all these channels pop up and people are angry. And it's, it's this case of this behemoth that is YouTube. They're so big, they, I don't know if it's that they can't communicate with people or they just don't want to, but they have a piss poor track record of actually telling people what they're doing and why. And if they would do that, people would understand, they wouldn't like it, like it, but they'd understand, but they've chosen not to. And that's why people are angry and that's why people want to change brands to VidMe. Yeah, that's true. Since I've been on VidMe, uh, certainly the creative, community there, is, well, the people behind VidMe, uh, they're producing their own videos, they're talking about what's happening on VidMe, and they're also giving shout outs. So uh, that was just mind blowing to me because we've never seen anything like that from YouTube. I, I think probably, without going on and on and on, repeating what other people have said in their videos, I think the thing to keep in mind is that we're not psychics. I like to say that I'm a psychic, I'm really not. I just like to claim that when, when that coincidence happens. But here, here's the thing to keep in mind. Just because you're happy on VidMe now, doesn't mean you're gonna be happy on VidMe in two years, three years, five years, because you don't know what's going to happen. Keep in mind something that's very, very important. When YouTube started, like 2005, 2006, its measurement metric for calculating success was engagement, which was likes, you know, comments and views. And that is how VidMe measures its metric now. But that could change too. You know, as uh, VidMe gets bigger, it could end up measuring success exactly the same way as YouTube. And we go down the same path again, which is why we are walking down a path. A path where we don't actually know where we're going because this is the Travis Wetlands and Hamish is going to roll some b-roll footage of the birds and stuff as we're walking around here. We, we've never been here, we don't even know where we're going. And the same thing applies to YouTube and VidMe. Yeah, I think I agree with you. Is And um, that's okay because, uh, you know, for me, I, I make videos every day and uh, most of them are made without a plan but I just kind of tease something out, like get involved and be doing something. And that's the way to be creative. Because if you sit back and think, well, I'm gonna wait and see, you know, nothing gets done that way. So that can be a bit of a hazard. I think that's a good way to wrap it up. So I'm gonna see you guys later. Thanks a lot for uh, watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll leave a link to Jamie's channel in the description. Thanks guys, see ya.